Hey guys, welcome to my first commercial listing. We are in the city of Greensburg here, uh, western part of Pennsylvania, just east of Pittsburgh by about 35, 40 minutes from downtown. And we are 238 West Otterman. As you can see, we're on a pretty busy street. This is Otterman Street. We are right down the road uh, from, the, uh, from the main street up there. You can kind of see way up top, you're gonna see the courthouse right there. So you're about five minutes from the courthouse. We got Seton Hill right across the street from us. We got a medical facility right across the street. We get quite a bit of traffic here at 238 West Ottoman. They just opened up over my right shoulder a uh, it's called Cuties little cafe ca uh, coffee shop. Excellent. They're doing a great job there. So let's walk in. This 10,000 square foot uh, currently uses a warehouse. We're going to walk in here. It's going to change a little bit. So I'm going to turn you around. You can see it's it's being used as a warehouse currently. And we are listed right now at $280,000. So you can see it used to be a flat roof. This was once like a Packard dealership. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn you this way and walk you through here. Yeah, this used to be a Packard dealership way back in the day. We have no idea how old this building is. But we did take off. And I say we because I actually did the uh, demolition of the roof here, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago working for this is my father-in-law's building so this was a flat roof at one time so I, I tore that off and he had a Amish company come in and they put up the trust roof so you can see you got about 10 feet of uh, ceiling here it's actually more than that it's probably 12 feet of ceiling we got exterior is a uh, brick on the outside and then they framed it in with two by sixes on the inside here so we're framing in. It is all open. Like I said, it's just a warehouse. Um, my father-in-law just uses this to uh, to store, you know, <laughs> basically his storage center or for his business when we do jobs. Uh, if we come across some uh, some usable materials like wood or whatnot, two by fours, we tend to, to store it here. There's no, there used to be a bathroom. There's no uh, utilities here except for, well, there is a gas hookup on the outside of the building ready to go. And there is a uh, water line run in, a main water line run in, in the into the basement that you're going to see. That's well, well, we'll go down into the basement, check that one out. Uh, there's not a furnace or anything hooked up here. There's no AC hooked up. It's not insulated. So, but it is ready pretty much for you to design it however you want. Um, some ideas would be possibly, I mean, it's it's endless here. You could do. I've had people interested in possibly turning into a residence. Um, office space, industrial, you can do manufacturing here. Um, it's currently rated for a warehouse C2 uh, for the occupancy permit. There is a loading dock. Uh, before we get outside to the loading dock, we're in the back left corner from the road as you're looking at it. And you're gonna see we have a 200 amp service coming in. There's also a sub box, sub panel box in the basement right below for another uh, 200 amp service down there. Let me just step over some things here. We have all kinds of stuff in here. But you can see, so we're still, now we're in the back wall. And you can see up to the front up there. So we got 10,000 square feet. That's going to be 5,000 square feet on this first floor. And then another five in the basement. Let's step out. We're actually on a uh, loading dock out here right now. And big thing with Greensburg, downtown Greensburg, is parking. Parking is very difficult to come across. Uh, it gets very busy because up over the hill, I don't want to turn it around here. Well, up over the hill up here is going to be um, the hospital. So you have the hospital uh, staff that comes down here and they park. There's a big parking lot behind it. There's also a parking lot on the uh, right side as you're looking at the building. And then we have room here for about 25 cars in this back lot. It could be used as another parking lot. There's also a driveway. You can see this is where the... Uh, where electric box, where uh, electric uh, service comes in. We do have a driveway here on the left-hand side of the building as you're looking at it. But this could be, I mean, all kinds of different things. Uh, a gym, a uh, restaurant, so, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's kind of endless what you could do with it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around. So you have the alleyway. The alleyway on the right side, and that is QDs. That leads back over to Otterman. So right now we're behind the building. And then I'll show an aerial shot. I'll stick an aerial shot in this video for you guys so you can see what it looks like and kind of it's like a little better um, understanding of its of its uh, location in the city of Greensburg. We're, we're a couple minutes, you know, we're like three blocks off of Main Street. 
So now we're on the uh, bottom left hand side. So we walk around the building, that's Otterman. So right now we're going into the basement. So there's garage doors. I have a couple different pickup trucks and I have a Dodge Ram 1500 and I get it in here. All right, so I can fit through these doors with my Dodge Ram 1500, it's four wheel drive. So it gives you, a, you know, kind of an idea of what can get down here. So we have, like I said, you have to excuse all the items that are here. Like I said, he's still using it. We have another panel box down here, 200 amp service coming down from, from top into this one, into the basement so we can run lights. He just never, uh, it's used for what he needed it. It's used as a warehouse for him. So we never really changed out the lighting too much. You know, it's bright enough down here where you can see easily when it's dark outside. You can get quite a few quite a few vehicles in here. There's a bunch of different bays. Now, like I said, this used to be a Packard dealership or a mechanic shop as well, way back in the day. So we are in, if you're looking at the building, this is the back right corner. So there's a block wall here. There used to be a car elevator that would bring vehicles up and down from the first floor down here into the basement. So when my father-in-law bought the building, that was already there. We have no idea if the elevator is still there, which is kind of cool, actually. Tear that out. There might be a car elevator in there. And they used to um, drive the cars, drive the vehicles right out the front into Otterman Street. Because as we walk, now we're in the basement. Okay, there are no steps currently going from the basement to the first floor. But now this wall is right under Otterman. Let me get out of the light there. Out of Otterman. You can see they have... A little bit of a ramp right here. So evidently they used to drive the vehicles right out front on Otterman Street. So uh, water main, water main comes in the front right here where that uh, sink is kind of set up. All right, guys, so that's it. That's going to be, you know, 5,000 square feet about down here. You can get plenty of vehicles in here, plenty of storage. Uh, upstairs is wide open. You can do it's ready to go design it however you want. There's no need to do any demolition. Um, you can drive in and out of this uh, basement with these two barn door type uh, doors. They would need replaced at some point. I'm sure there's some cosmetics on the outside you'd probably want to take care of. Add some gutters and whatnot, some uh, downspouts. But that's the side of the building. All right, guys. So if you're interested in this building at all uh, or any other buildings in Greensburg, hit me up. Shane Woodworth, EXP Realty, right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, this is in Westmoreland County, which um, is, I don't, know, I don't know, we're 20 minutes from the Westmoreland Mall, which actually has a new casino that just opened up like two years ago or a year ago. Um, so there's plenty of other businesses around here up on Route 30. I'll throw that in the map. Up on Route 30, there's, you know, all kinds of shopping up there, restaurants, uh, the big name, Walmart, Sam's Club, Lowe's, Home Depot, and such like that are all within about 10 minutes from this building. Um, so you have really well-established buildings beside us, uh, businesses, you got financial services, you got healthcare, you got uh, Seton Hill University, you got gas stations right here, you got an up-and-coming coffee uh, cafe that just opened up across the street. Uh, there's so much here. There's one of the best tattoo shops in Pennsylvania, Ah, you can't see it because the sun. Unique Inc. is right across the street. Shout out to uh, Nick Cristofano. He's probably the best uh, tattoo artist I've been to anyway. Um, fantastic people all around here. Nice, uh, pleasant people to work around. Uh, there is neighborhood. There's residents up over the other way here On as you get out of the town, out of uh, downtown, out of downtown Greensburg. Um, but if you're looking to do any kind of investments, you want to take a look at this building, Call, text, email me. You want to take a look at other buildings or residences or whatnot. Uh, Shane Woodworth, EXP Realty. I'll put my, my contact information up here and in the description. Let's have a conversation about the about the anything, really, anything real estate, especially this property. Let's get this property moving. It's not going to last too much longer. Uh, give me a call. Uh, let's have a conversation. All right, guys? Real, keep it real estate. Yo!